Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at macOS 10.1 codename Puma, the second official version of Apple's macOS 10 operating system. There have been many significant upgrades to this OS that made the previous version 10.0 look like another beta version. One noticeable change with this OS is the Apple logo on the top left of the desktop has slightly changed colour to a lighter blue scheme. 10.1 was the first macOS to ship with iTunes, which slowly changed the way people listen to music. In later months, iTunes was updated to introduce support for synchronising with the first iPod. This OS came equipped with QuickTime 5, which had hot picks such as CNN, HBO and ESPN. And of course, it was capable of playing videos. This version of macOS came pre-installed with iMovie, Apple's video editing program for consumers which was first introduced in 1999. The System Preferences application has also been upgraded to have labels for certain types of settings, such as personal and hardware. The login screen compared to version 10.0 Cheetah has been improved for easier use. The Apple logo has switched from grey to blue and users have the option to type in a name and password or click on a user and if necessary, type in a password. Other new features introduced with OS 10.1 included easier CD and DVD burning, overall faster performance, increased compatibility with third-party applications such as Microsoft Office 10, and DVD playback support. So that was a review of macOS 10.1 codename Puma. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thank you all for watching and see you all in my next video.